welcome back to my channel. It is Amanda. Welcome if you are new. Uh, today we're going to be doing a, and by we I mean me. Today I'm going to be sharing with you some of my favorite things that I've purchased from Amazon over the years. I am, you know, I'm not saying that I don't shop on Amazon enough, um, but I'm not like everything is on Amazon. I still go to my local stores, I still go to Target and Walmart, and I still shop locally and in my community, but sometimes you do find some great things on Amazon. So I wanted to show some of my favorite things. I didn't gather everything physically. I will either insert a picture of it or maybe I will insert a little demo of me using it somehow, but I just thought rather than just like holding something up, it would be easier to insert footage. There are quite a few, so I might pick the top favorites, and then if you like this, I can do a second part with the rest of the items, just so this video isn't so long. Um, if I have links for things, they'll be in the description box. Those will be affiliate links, and if you click on them or use them, I will earn small commission. So thank you so much, because that is how I make some money on YouTube, is <laughs> affiliate links and views. It looks really fluffy today, and I'm not really sure why. 10 30 at night so it's totally wasted anyway if you guys want to see some of my favorite amazon purchases then just keep watching let's start with clothing because some of my favorite like workout gear i've purchased from amazon some of terrible things i purchased on amazon but i've already returned those so you don't need to see them my favorite workout leggings are the yogalicious leggings i buy the capri length and then I also have the short length, and I, I'm sure they have a longer length. But I have the capri and the, the short length, because even in the winter, I don't usually want full length pants. I, I get warm enough that I need capris, so um, I love these. I think I have seven of the capri length leggings. They're very comfortable, they're very soft, um, they are squat proof, because that is my most important feature when looking for a workout leggy is it squat proof because even if I'm wearing nude underwear you don't need to see that. I know it doesn't really matter and I know no one cares. I care though and I don't want I it's just I shouldn't be able to see why are you even making a material that you can see through? And I've purchased so many leggings the reviews have said they are squat proof and they are not. Does it mean different things to people? It must. These are not squat proof. You cannot see through them. Um, I have the black ones. I don't know if they're different colors but I have the black pair but I have still tried plenty of black leggings that are not squat proof. Anyway, this is, this is a tangent. Uh, they're very soft. They aren't I would not call them compression leggings. I mean, I guess if you buy a size too small, they could be compression leggings. They, I feel like they hold everything in, but I don't ever feel like, you know, because I have like the mom pooch. Sometimes when your leggings are too tight, you're like, you feel like you're dying. These don't make me feel like that. Um, I do CrossFit, so. Um, there's a lot of different movements and, and they're very comfortable. I never I never really worry about them. They don't roll down. Uh, they're not you know, super high rise, but they're high enough for me personally and I have a, a fairly long torso. So I guess maybe they will be high rise on some other people. <laughs> but anyways, I love these leggings. I love the shorts. I they're my favorites and I think they're like $23. And they're so soft. They're so soft. The next favorite is my favorite sports bra, which is also from Amazon. I do have one from the Zia, Zaya, something brand, and I do like that, but that was a $50 sports bra. I was helping a friend out. Not something that I'm going to do all the time. So my favorite are the Siro Sorokin. I don't know how to pronounce it. Sorokin. High impact sports bra. I have, I believe, three of these and I love these. I like that they 
you know, I don't want it to come to my neck, but I like it to come up a little higher because I don't really want, you know, my stuff hanging out. If you want yours hanging out, I don't care. That's great. I don't, though. So I like that they come up a little bit higher and um, they're not choking me because I don't really like things, you know, to come up to my neck. I don't want a turtleneck sports bra. But uh, I, I like that they come up a little bit higher. So if you don't like putting a sports bra on, they, like you put it on over your head and there is a clasp, but there's no way to like put one arm in and put one arm in and then put it on like a regular bra. It does go over your head and you can clasp it. I know some people don't like that. That doesn't really bother me because I'm looking to lock everything down. That's what I'm looking for. So I love these. I think I have three of them and I would like more. And I also wear them when they're mowing, when I'm mowing, because, you know, my hair is bumpy. The other sports bra that I like from Amazon is not one for the gym, but it's one for, like, everyday wear. I'm just finding that I, I really hate wearing a regular bra. I just like these. So, um, this is the brand called Brainer. Oh, it's called Miridi. And it's a padded, strappy sports bra. It comes in a two-pack. Um, they have different colors. You can buy one for $12.99 or you can get two for $17.99. I get two because, truthfully, this is basically the bra that I wear now. I have removable padding if you don't like the pads. They are not constricting. I don't feel, I don't really feel like I'm wearing a bra, personally, but I do need a bra. So, I really like these. I have you know, four or five of them now. And I really, not five, four of them, six of them. I don't know, but I love them. The next thing is the brand Who Hot. Who Hot, Who Hot. I love their t shirt dresses because they're truly t shirt dresses. I don't want a t shirt like shaped dress, I want a t shirt material dress. And these are that exactly. They are in a million prints. You can get solid colors, you can get prints. I have, I think, four or five of them, and maybe I ordered one or two more the other day that are on their way to me right now. I think they're so comfortable because I don't I don't love wearing dresses. I'm just not a dress person. I like the idea and I think people look so cute in them, but I'm so uncomfortable in a dress. I don't like wearing them. But sometimes I do need to wear them. <laughs> and uh, I, these are perfect because they don't look, I mean, they're not fancy by any means. If you have a fancy event to go to, this is not going to cut it. But, I mean, maybe the black one. I don't know. I'm not a fancy person, clearly. But I love these. They do also have a um, tank top style dress. It's a v-neck tank top style dress. I have one of those, and I love that as well. So, they're just so comfortable. They wash really well. I kind of don't dry most of my clothing as far as t-shirts, dresses, uh, leggings, sports bras. I don't dry any of that stuff. I have a rack in the basement right next to my dryer that I dry it on. So I don't know how they, how they dry, but they wash fine. And they're not the thickest material in the world. If You, you will need to wear like nude undergarments. Um, or, I mean, I can't imagine wanting to wear Spanx in the summer. You need to wear something to, I mean, if you care, conceal your undergarments. They're just so comfortable. They're truly a cotton t-shirt dress, and I love them. And they have, I don't even want to tell you how many I have in my wish list. They have so many patterns, and they're all adorable. Right, let's talk about some beauty things. So this is kind of random, but I actually thought it was like really awesome that I found this thing on Amazon. Last year, sometime, I dropped my Tory Burch perfume. Like my hardly used Tory Burch perfume and the sprayer wouldn't spray. Let me rephrase. It would spray, but it would like squirt out instead of mist out, and I said that's not gonna work. So, what do I do with this? And I found some empty glass spray bottles for perfume. 
they were, they had a couple colors. I think I just got the regular silver ones and they were $8.49 for two of them. So I had to perform some surgery on my perfume bottle and get some pliers, but I easily removed the stopper and then I poured it into this other bottle. It's a glass bottle. I had to put a label on it so I don't know what it was called. It definitely isn't as pretty as the Tory Burch perfume bottle but now I can use the perfume whereas before it was just squirting out and it was not effective. The spray on it is so nice. It, it almost makes the spray finer than it would be for a normal perfume. I really, really like it. They have color, like different colors if you want. The rose gold, they have a gold frosted bottle, which is really cute. And those are actually cheaper than the other ones. I should have gotten that one because that would have looked more like the, <laughs> the Tory Burch bottle, but it doesn't really matter. I like them. And they're a nice, a nice bottle. They're not, they don't feel cheap. I love my dog so much. I just wish he would let me hold him. Well, I felt when I would. Um, <laughs> I have some silicone lip scrubbers that I purchased. They came in a six pack, and there's a finer side and a, like a nubby side, I guess, for scrubbing your lips. I was for a while really good about using a lip scrub and a lip scrubber several times a week, if not every night, and I've kind of fallen off the habit of it. But I saw them in my bathroom cabinet the other day, and I was like, you know what? You need to use these. Um, there are six, six of them, and they all have a different color. So if there's, you know, you're gonna pass them out to your family and friends. Scrub your lips, guys. Is that weird? <laughs> you can do so. They're very affordable, and they work really well, and they're holding up really well too. I think I did a whole video about reusable face pads, for, about reusable like makeup removing cloths. Um, I will try to um, to link that up here. My favorite reusable makeup removers, and then also reusable, reusable cotton rounds for like toner or things like that. I'm so I really like these. I've washed them countless times. They hold up really well. They're very soft. Um, they're just they're really nice to. Uh, I, I use them for toner. I don't use them for anything else. So I don't know about any other use, but for toner and washing and wearing. They work really well. My brush tree that I use to hang my brushes on when I clean them, my makeup brushes, is also from Amazon. Old 26 brushes. I sometimes have more than that to wash, but you know, not often. It comes apart really easily. Um, it sets up really easily. It's just, it's got a lot of different uh, sized silicone holders for cleaning your brushes as they're drying and it was like six dollars. Right, I'll do a few more things that are all kid related. The Mark My Time digital bookmark and reading timer. Um, my daughter loves to read. I don't ever have to tell her, hey, you need to read 20 minutes for your schoolwork every day, you know, because they have like a reading goal every day and 20 minutes is the minimum that they suggest children should be reading. I don't ever have to remind her of that because she an old lady and loves to read but I still bought this for her because sometimes on the weekend and even in the summer she wakes up before I do and she just sits in her room and reads and I know I don't need to record her reading minutes in the summer but on the weekend when I was in during school year she doesn't look at the clock because she just gets up and starts reading so I said how long have you been reading? to know in the minutes. So it's really nice for that but it's also but also if you have a child who doesn't love to read it's really easy to set a timer. You can set a countdown timer if you just want them to get that 20 minute minimum or whatever your goal is um, or you can count up you know you can do a countdown timer or just a running timer. You can set the actual time on it and uh, they have a lot of different colors. So we really like that. It's very thin, it does a nice bookmark, and then it's just, you know, the timer part sticks out of the top of the book. The other thing that we love, the Guess in 10 games. There are, when I first started buying these, there were, I think, four variations. Now there are like 10, and they're really fun for all ages. Some are harder than others. 
And so the premise of the game is uh, very simple, but it's a good family game. It's They're good for ages like six and up. And so <laughs> you don't realize how much you don't know about cities of the world until you play this game. Um, but they have one about animals, they have one around a town, like things that you see around your town, cities around the world, country of the world, deadly dinosaurs, foods around the world. Ooh. Why is that so expensive? Um, inspiring professions, legendary landmarks, states of America, things that go, and world of sports. And we have, I think, six of them at this point. Avery loves these. We try to have a family dinner with my family once a month, and uh, we always bring a lot of these games to play, and it's fun. You know, it's a simple game, but it's it's fun to play and. We really enjoy them. So, guess and test. Last thing I'm going to mention is actually two things. These are cookbooks, but they're for children. They are the complete baking book for young chefs, and then there's also the complete like, beginner's cookbook for young chefs, I think is what it's called. I know that they are geared towards children, but I think that anyone who does not know how to cook could benefit from these books because they lay everything out. Um, and explain it very well. They don't make it so easy that you think, okay, you could, you don't need to talk down to me. But they explain everything very well. There are a lot of pictures and there's like a glossary of terms. They're actually really good books and like I said, I think uh, kids would benefit from these but even like an adult who doesn't really know how to cook or was never taught or never learned how to cook, I think it'd benefit from them. And I know they can Google things but I'm still like a book person. I still like to see the pictures and turn the pages and, and all of that. So we really like both of these. We've made, you know, the recipes in, in the books are fairly simple because they're for beginners, but that doesn't mean they're not delicious. We've made the pizza dough, we've made the pizza sauce from, you know, the, the recipes in the books are fairly basic, but it's for beginners. So we really like both of those in Aerie. So how about we stop at 10? That's my 10, like 10 Amazon recommendations for you. If you guys want me to do a second part, I can. Um, as I mentioned, I will link everything in the description box and if you shop through those links, I do earn a small commission as an Amazon affiliate. So thank you so much. I so greatly appreciate it. Let me know your favorite things from Amazon. What do you buy from Amazon? Do you have things on auto ship? I do. I should do a video of my Amazon auto ship. I do have several things on auto ship. <laughs> now that I think about it. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll talk to you in my next video.